they are different values of the same field. The field is management. It can contain multiple values, can be manager, CEO, director, etc. So you are choosing which of those values you want. Yeah, you. If you are writing this rule, that means you are looking at the population of workers who are either managers or CEO or the director. Okay, but you are looking at only on the basis of the management level. Now, if you want to combine that managers and us or only us employees right and the management level, again you add another condition. Here, you have the ability to add another condition and there you look on the basis of a different parameter. Now that we will do tomorrow, right, when we combine multiple factors together, but right now, we are only saying our management level is equal to any of these, right? Okay, but now if you want to not use, and well, that is perfectly fine. You can just click on select one instead of using and or for one condition. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to have an and or, but when you have multiple conditions, it will definitely have an impact. But now let me look at some workers here. I just I'm trying to find out a worker who is a manager. So, so that I can choose the right, what to say the management level. Let me look at this particular worker, Elizabeth Holmes. And you see the management level here is 3. Executive Vice President, right, the management level for this worker. So let me write a rule based on this particular management level, which is 3 Executive Vice President. So so that it returns some workers. Okay, so 3 Executive Vice President, 3, 3, 3, 3 right here. Okay, so let me choose both. I don't know which one is the right one. People have created so many, so let me choose this. So now let's say I am looking for the executive vice president and if I go to compensation eligibility and if I click on view eligible workers, then what will happen? It will return the list of workers whose management level is. Executive vice president, correct. That is what I am expecting. So I will go to the related actions, compensation eligibility, and I will save you eligible workers. Right, there are 99 workers who are executive vice president. Let's see if Elizabeth Holmes is part of the list. So I will expand the list. I just looked at one worker. Okay, I just picked up the management level from there. That's all I did. Okay, because when I was looking at the expenditure I did, I was not getting any hits. Right, so I used a management level that has been used for an employee. So I used it in my eligibility rule. Okay, and then I am testing. Okay, ideally, I should also change a few parameters, like I should now call it as all executive vice presidents, right? So this is to identify all executive vice presidents in the system, right? This makes more sense now. Right, the description and the comment and the rule that we have written are consistent. Now, so what I am looking at is all the executive vice presidents in the system. And how many did I get? 99. Now let's see if Elizabeth Holmes is also a part of that particular list. So it returned 99 workers in this tenant who are executive vice presidents. Now, if I expand this, 
and let's search for Elizabeth Holmes. Here she is. There is Elizabeth Holmes. So it matches with what we see on the system, right? Elizabeth Holmes is an executive vice president. So if I am creating a rule based on that, I am able to get this particular worker. It also says, let's say, Darren Martinez, this worker is also eligible. So let's look at this worker. And let's see if Darren Martinez and an executive vice president. Let's find out. Okay, it should be, otherwise you wouldn't have been a part of that list. But still, let's, let's make sure so you see the management level of that. Darren Martinez is also executive vice president. Correct. Got it. So now you see, you see that maybe it is too big of a list, 99. I was not expecting 99. Maybe I should narrow it down. How can I narrow it down? And by adding more conditions. By adding more conditions. Correct. That's absolutely correct. By adding more conditions. Maybe this is not the population. I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a little bit more specific population of employees. So for that we can edit this eligibility rule and we can add more conditions to it. Let me, let me show you one, one more, one more thing. The thing is, you have created an eligibility rule. We did one kind of test. The test was, we found a list of all the eligible workers. Correct. Now what is? We want to test one specific worker. Whether that worker is going to be eligible to this rule or not. We can do that as well. So we go to a compensation eligibility and we can click on test. Test, so in this test option, you can specify which worker you want to test. Okay, let's say I want to test some of the workers that we hired, Daniel Sloan. Right. So we want to test WW Daniel Sloan. So this is a chief executive officer that we hired last week. So we want to see if Daniel Sloan is going to be eligible as for this rule or not. Okay, so I click on OK. It says eligible for this rule. What is it? What is the result? No, no, no right, he's not eligible for this rule. Now it shows you the rule. Okay, what is the rule? The rule is this, Executive Vice President. Now, if I click on this worker, Daniel Sloan, we will have to find out, right like why this, this worker didn't make the cut. So we can look at Daniel Sloan's management level and see for ourselves, like why he didn't make the cut. Well, his job profile, his management level. Let's look at his management level. Where is? What is his management level? His management level is chief executive officer. Hmm, so it didn't match. Our eligibility criteria, which is three, executive vice president. Right. So this worker was not eligible. So you have two kinds of tests. One is you can list down all the employees who are satisfying this criteria, or you can also test one by one. Like you can perform positive and negative tests as well. 
Now, if I look at Elizabeth Holmes right, if I test Elizabeth Holmes, I know for a fact that Elizabeth Holmes is an executive vice president right. So let's look at Elizabeth Holmes and click OK. So Elizabeth Holmes is eligible for this rule. We know it for a fact right, because we based this criteria based on eligible Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes is an executive vice president. So we looked on the basis of Elizabeth Holmes. We see that she is eligible. But when we checked for Daniel Sloan, we saw Daniel Sloan is not eligible. Right. So this is how you can perform a positive test as well as a negative test. You have the option to test this eligibility criteria. Okay, using the test option.